In this video, we'll talk about ionotropic receptors. Ionotropic receptors are generally ligand gated ion channels. That means in a ligand bound state, they would conduct ions across these channels. In our nervous system, there are two types of receptors ionotropic receptors and metabotropic receptors. Ionotropic receptors are ligand gated ion channels while metabotropic receptors are generally G-protein coupled receptors. They synthesize metabolites which lead to intracellular changes. Now in this video we'll focus on ionotropic receptors and not on metabotropic receptors. But if you want a video on metabotropic receptors, link would be found in the I button. Generally ionotropic receptors are ligand gated ion channel where the ion channel is made up of 3, 4 or 5 subunits. These subunits are generally uh, diverse. They could be heteromer or homomer. Anyway, it has a ligand binding pocket where the ligand binds. Upon binding to the ligand, there could be conformational change. And the transmembrane domain has the selectivity folder or selectivity pocket for the ions. Now, let us look at the functioning property in a bit more details. So in a ligand un unbound state, they would be inactive and the gate would be closed. In a ligand bound state, the gate would be open and the ion channel is conductive. So whenever there is a presence of ligand, the gate would be uh, open. And in this case, you can see the gate is closed. But upon binding to specific ligands, the gate will open right now and the ions can pass across this channel. And this is how the ligand gated ion channel or ionotropic receptors work. Question is where we can find these ionotropic receptor? And the simple answer is our central nervous system. In the central nervous system, we can find them in all the glutamatergic synapses. In the post synapse of glutamatergic synapse, we can see these kind of metabotropic this kind of ionotropic receptors. All the glutamate receptors are divided into two groups, ionotropic and metabotropic. The ionotropic receptors are pretty common all across the nervous system. Other than that, we can find them in neuromuscular junction, stomach, in many other locations as well. Let's say in the stomach, we can find them in the parietal cells. Now, let's focus on a glutamatergic synapse to understand how they work. Now, in the glutamatergic synapse, when a presynaptic action potential arrive, the, uh, arrive at the nerve terminal, it leads to the release of neurotransmitters, shown here in pink. These neurotransmitters work like a ligand for the postsynaptic channels. They bind to the postsynaptic channel, open the postsynaptic channel, and thereby many cations can get inside of the postsynapse. Cationic influx leads to a positive change in the membrane voltage which leads to an increase of the potential towards the positive side. This generates the postsynaptic potential. Now, ionotropic glutamate receptors are pretty common. They are generally ligand-gated sodium channels, so they allow sodium ion to come in. It's important to notice that there are ionotropic GABA receptors as well, which are ligand-gated chloride channels, which lead to a intrusion of chloride or negative ion inside the neurons and lead to a uh, inactivation of these neurons. Now, ionotropic acetylcholine receptors are also very common in the neuromuscular junction along with the glutamatergic system or glutamatergic receptors. So, if we zoom into a neuromuscular junction, we can see all these um, nicotinic acetylcholine receptors, which upon binding to acetylcholine, can allow influx of cation into the muscle and thereby depolarizing the muscle. So now in this video we talked about ionotropic receptors and where we can find them, how they work. Let me tell you that ionotropic receptors are fast response receptors. That means the overall response of ionotropic receptors are quite fast compared to a metabotropic receptors. If you want to find more about ionotropic and metabotropic receptors, the video would be in the I button. Anyway, you can get many more videos and notes um, in my Facebook channel. You can get annotated flashcards, small tricks, mnemonics, all of these are available in my Instagram page. Links are provided in the description. 
you can support me in patreon also there is a super thanks option after every video you can find it in the bottom right corner of the video you can pay me via paypal paytm and upi anyway you can uh, follow me on social media and my all social media links are provided in the description also our partner channel nerd medic follow that all the descript all the uh, social media links are provided in the description